Hey, what's up? How you doing? Did you know at seven seconds, my understanding is you can say fuck, shit, balls, and fuck? I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. My name's Creatures. I play video games. You want to go on this journey with me? I'm always playing all sorts of video games. I'm not going to start fights with people over stupid things about console war. I'm just going to do walkthroughs. I'm pretty mellow. And that can be entertaining. I make myself laugh. That's all that matters, right? So we are going to go talk to Dutch. Jump. All right. Dutch is over this way. Do I need any onic or medicine or anything? Nope. Evening, Mr. Morgan. Good evening. Can I? I can't. Talk to Lenny. Ah, okay. Got some weapons you could sell. Yeah, we sold. We uh, okay. stole a bunch of weapons. Later, All right, Mr. Morgan. We're at that part of the game. I'll talk to Dutch. Let's see. Do I need? Need arrows. Do I need anything else? Nope, I should have everything else because after taking those weapons, we got a lot of different people that we killed. Let's see what Dutch wants. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunts. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. My lady. Evening, Arthur. She just totally ran into me. She didn't mean to. Sadie. Hi, Reverend. Sadie. Hi, Sadie. Hi, folks. Hello there. Evening, Arthur. Hey there. You managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Oh, he ain't that bad. Okay, Arthur. Thanks, Sadie. Uh, I need some food while I'm here. Do you remember every time you're here, you get food and stuff? I don't ever remember. What side is this on? There we go. Pour me some coffee. I love how many times people complain about Pearson's food. We needed that. That was down. Can I get a meal? Wait, you can get a meal? I want a meal. I've got one in a while. Hey there. Ah, uh, Mr. Morgan. What would we do without you? Turn feral, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. I guess I don't get food. Alright, let's see if we have any things we could drop off while we're here too. Nope, I can't do anything because I have to go get Charles. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay.
Okay, there's Charles. Come on, buddy. Let's get going. Whoa. You all right? Yeah, I like this spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, though. Yeah, we never did. Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. I just wanted to hear what he had to say. Because when you go in here, it will end. Sometimes. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Gone. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Hmm. Let's take a look around. Easy, guy. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Okay. Inspect? Wait. Inspect? <laughs> there we some go. blood here. That ain't good. Come on. Before they get too far ahead. All right, let me search this real quick. Nothing. Idiot. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right. I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place that. Victor right. Citrulone is staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney, Sean, after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. These tracks lead into the forest here. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Arthur, where are you going? Talk to the man. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> uh, 
you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come here! Yeah. Ah! Okay, let's go interrogate him. 21 bucks, worth it. Stop squirming! Uh, where is Trelawney? I don't know anything! Tell me where he is. You go to hell! You better tell me now, you son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. <coughs> They'll be down a while. We're taking our friend. That should do it. Making me go get him. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Okay. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Good to know. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. He's got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Got caught up in studying the fox. I haven't studied all the animals yet. Or a lot of them, I guess. Music in this is dope. This will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with them, my brothers. Don't let them get away. 
could have told him anything. I don't know where the other ones went. Come on, where are they? You wait till I find you. Come on, man. We got one more, Charles. Must be in that field back that way. 31. No, I didn't see the birds. He can't have gone far. Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. Bam. In under the wagon. Good job, Charles. Come on. He should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, uh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. Fine. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. All right, these guys had lots of money. About $30 per person. Pick your head up. Or not. Okay, we will. After I get this thirty dollars. Let's go see how bad it is the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to pick that up. We'll oh. soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, Let's see what weapons these guys had. Pick up. 
Nothing exciting there. Nothing there, because I got the rare gun already. Okay. Let's check this out. Conditions good. Fire rate. Reload. Damage. Alright. Nice looking gun. Still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Nice. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Got my little, got my little journal. Awesome, mission completed. All right, we'll be moving on to the next one. I'm going to take a break. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. If you liked and subscribed this video, that means you're awesome. Just means you're a good person and you like supporting other people. And that's cool of you. Well, thanks for doing it. Bye.